Wix just dropped $80 million on a six-month-old AI app builder called Base44. Meanwhile, Lovable hit $13.5 million in revenue three months after launch. Two platforms both promising to turn your random Tuesday idea into a functional app using nothing but plain English prompts. After diving deep into both platforms, here's what nobody's telling you about this AI builder showdown. Base44 positions itself as the all-in-one solution. Database, authentication, hosting, front-end, everything lives in one dashboard. It's like ordering a combo meal instead of picking individual items. You describe your app idea, throw in a design style like claymorphism or glassmorphism, hit build, and watch the AI architect work its magic. The build log shows you exactly what's happening as it generates schemas, creates routes, and seeds data. When I tested their chore scheduler template, Base44 delivered a dashboard with week view calendar, family member management, and auto assignment functionality. The visual editor lets you click to tweak colors and layouts after generation. Pretty impressive for a first draft. But here's where things get spicy. Base44's convenience comes with vendor lock-in risks. Sure, you can export to GitHub, but good luck migrating that integrated database if you decide to peace out later. Plus, those free credits disappear faster than your motivation on Monday morning. Lovable takes a different approach. It's more modular, letting you sync with GitHub from day one and giving you actual ownership of your code. Their credit system is transparent. Every AI interaction costs one credit, whether you're generating code or just chatting with their assistant. No surprise bills based on mysterious token calculations. The pricing battle is where things get interesting. Lovable starts free with five daily credits, then scales from $21 monthly for 100 credits. Base 44's pricing is murkier, but users report burning through free credits rapidly. Lovable hit the sweet spot for developers who want flexibility. You can fork clone, and host anywhere. Base44 feels more like Squarespace for apps. Perfect if you want everything handled for you. Problematic if you value portability. Both platforms auto-select between advanced AI models like Claude Sonnet and Gemini Pro. Both can build impressive prototypes from conversational prompts. The real difference is philosophy. Base44 says trust us with everything. Lovable says here's the code. Do what you want. For solo makers who need a prototype by tonight and will worry about edge cases tomorrow, Base44's all-in-one approach is tempting. For teams who want to maintain control and avoid vendor lock-in, Lovable's modular freedom is worth the extra setup complexity. The Wix acquisition suggests Base44 will get serious integration and polish. But Lovable's transparent pricing and code ownership might matter more when your side project becomes your main thing. If you've tested either platform, I'm curious how they handled your real-world projects. Drop your experiences below. Did the AI understand your vision? Or did you spend more time debugging prompts than writing code would have taken? Hey, Mark here. So look, I spend a lot of time investigating these products. And honestly, I'd rather not fill this channel with sponsored content from companies whose products I might end up roasting next week. That would be <laughs> awkward. If this review helped you out, saved you from wasting money, or maybe helped you find something that's actually worth buying, here are a few ways you can support what we're doing here. First up, I've put the link to this specific product down in the description. If you want to check the current price or read more reviews, click through there. And if you do buy through my link, they toss me a few pennies without charging you extra. Win-win. Second option, and this one's for all you regular Amazon shoppers, there's another link down there that just goes to Amazon's homepage. Bookmark it, use it whenever you shop. Doesn't matter if you're buying this product or just restocking on toilet paper. Using that link means a tiny portion of what you're already spending helps fund these investigations, 
And trust me, Jeff Bezos won't even notice it's missing. <laughs> it's the easiest way to support the channel without spending extra money. Now, the third option is for those of you who need help right now. Like, you've got a product sitting in your cart and you're thinking, is this thing legit or am I about to waste my money? That's what our membership is for. Think of it like hiring me as your private BS investigator. For as low as three bucks a month, you submit products for urgent investigation, I do the deep dive and deliver a personalized review to your inbox in 24 to 72 hours, depending on your tier. It's basically like having me on speed dial for product research, except instead of calling, you just send me the sketchy product and I'll tell you if it's worth your money or complete garbage. All right, that's it. Keep questioning everything, and I'll see you in the next investigation, where we figure out what's actually worth your money and what's just expensive garbage with good marketing. Stay savage out there. Catch you next time.